Hi everyone, in today's video, I will be sharing the process of painting two small oil on canvas pieces. These are just for fun and inspired by some breathtaking scene from the movie set in the 18th century. The beautiful costume in these films really sparked my creativity and I just had to capture them on canvas. So now I'm preparing two small canvases with three layers of gesso. I'm using Liquitex acrylic gesso as my base. And now let's get started. In the original image, the background behind the two women included other people in the room, but I decided not to include them in my painting because it makes the composition I feel too chaotic. I wanted to focus solely on the two women, and honestly, I'm mostly interested in just painting the dresses, so I avoid leaving the background too empty. I added a, a small flower part instead, and I really love incorporating like some floral details into my paintings. I'm sorry that I didn't show you the process from scratch because my camera was broken so I blocked in the main areas and once the first layer had already dried, I started to film my later process. I came across this image while browsing Pinterest for references and I was immediately drawn to it. The soft pink silk gown that Oma Tournament wears in this movie feels so elegant and, and regal. I knew I had to paint it and I started by sketching her, blocking in the main areas and now I just focus on the details starting from her face and then I will add some more layers to define the folds of the gown. This painting is a great opportunity for me to practice favorite folds, especially the way silk catches the light. At first glance, the folds might seem a bit complicated and feel quite overwhelmed with a lot of small detail fold in the gowns but as I break it down step by step and layer by layer gradually it slowly comes together I always start by painting the shadow first use um, a warm pink tone a mix of red and cadmium orange for the deeper shadows I add a touch of alizarine crimson and ultramarine blue once the shadows had defined I can move on to the highlights. Still has such strong contrast, so I use a lot of white mixed with just a little bit of nickel yellow for those bright and reflective areas. With the lady sitting in the painting, since she wearing an ivory dress, I found it a bit challenging to determine the main colors of her dress. I created a gray with a slight greenish tint. For the darker areas of her dress, I used more ultramarine blue and a little bit of paint gray. I didn't replicate the background exactly as in the reference photo, um, mostly because I was so lazy. Instead, I just add some layers of light and shadow for the wall to give the background feel a bit more deep.
next up is Kirsten Dunst from Marie Antoinette, a movie that's been a huge source of artistic inspiration for me. Every scene, every costume feels like it's been pulled straight out of a painting. I remember watching this movie when I was younger and it's one of the first movies that made me fall in love with the 18th century fashion. I really love this reference photo, primarily because of the gorgeous dress she's wearing and secondly because of the flower pattern surrounding her. The patterns on the chase and wall have beautifully classic European style that I absolutely love it. I adjust her hairstyle slightly to fit the canvas better and also change her hair color to blonde just because I really love blonde hair. Working on a small canvas has a downside, especially when it comes to detailing the face. As it's such a small area, I struggle quite a bit when I paint this part. This gown is also primarily red, like the one in the first painting, but with a cooler and more populist tone. I'm using a mix of Grenacridon rose and alizarin crimson, adding also a touch of ultramarine blue to get that cooler red shade. For the shadows in the folds, I increase the amount of ultramarine blue to give it depth. As with the first painting, the material is silk, so the contrast between light and shadow is very dramatic. For the highlighted areas, I'm again using a lot of white with touch of nickel yellow. I didn't complete these paintings all in one go. After sketching and blocking in the main colors, I set them aside for a few days to let it the first layer dry. Then I came back to work on the details like the faces, the hair, and of course the folds in the gowns. After that, I let the painting dry again before adding the final touches. For the final step, I focus on small details that really bring the paintings to life, like adding highlights to enhance the simmering silk. I using again a lot of white and also in this step I use a little bit medium, um, which I use here is the linseed oil, the sun thicken linseed oil.
I just can't help adding little extra like flowers on her hair. The original reference doesn't have them, but I thought it added a touch of romance. I love it. I love to add flowers on the lady hair. I always find myself getting lost in this last stage. I try not to overdo the details, but I can't help it sometimes. I just enjoy this part so so much.